This is a 63-year-old gentleman who underwent uncomplicated cataract surgery. At the four-week post-operative visit, I noticed a nuclear fragment in the angle at 6 o'clock. I had to take him back to the operating room in order to remove it. I'm going into the same original side port incision and using a viscoadaptive OVD, I'm sequestering the nuclear fragment in order to avoid it from being moved around in the anterior chamber. As you can see, the pupil is constricted. I placed him on pilocarpine in order to avoid that nuclear fragment from falling through the pupil. With low flow settings, I'm coming in with my FACO handpiece and immediately over the nuclear fragment, which I have stabilized with my Koch manipulator through the side port, I'm able to FACO emulsify the fragment. As you can see, I'm grabbing it right now. It's coming into the port. I FACO emulsifying it and gradually removing it um, without any complications. With the irrigation aspiration system, which I'm about to use, I'm making sure all of the viscoelastic is removed from that area of the anterior chamber. I'm also going to spend a little time vacuuming that area to make sure there are no small fragments of that nuclear fragment that are stuck in the angle. Once I was assured that everything was clear and clean, I am now sealing my incision using a 30 gauge cannula. Since I re-manipulated my original corneal incision, I wanted to place the Reshore sealant over the incision to make sure that the incision stayed as watertight as possible. I'm drying the area with a Wexel sponge, and as you can see, I'm applying the Reshore sealant, painting it on along the temporal incision, as well as dabbing it over the side port incision. The Reshore sealant polymerizes within seven to 10 seconds to make sure the wound stays nice and watertight.